What's going on guys? Nat Ramirez with DXP Realty. Hope you're having a great day. Today's topic for our video is going to be owner financing but for the selling side. So if you're a seller looking to sell your home, owner finance, keep an eye on this video, watch it all the way through and you're going to get a bunch of pros and cons of why you should or maybe why you shouldn't do it. Talk to you soon. Alrighty guys, so pro number one for a seller in this owner financing uh, format is that you're gonna be able to sell your home or potentially you know being able to sell your home as is so since there's no requirements for the type of loan or anything like that that you're gonna be looking at with the traditional lending you don't really need to do any major repairs if you don't need to and be able to get more money in your pocket just being able to disclose that the home is being sold as is since you are the owner doing the financing for that buyer so there you go pro number one let's go to the next one pro number two for being the owner and owner financing your home is getting a better return of your investment majority of the time being able to finance it you're going to get a lot more interest and more money in your pocket in the long run compared to what you would let's say invest it in something else since you are going to be the bank you know you're you're financing the home to the buyer you get more cash pretty, pretty much in the long run so it's a good investment you get more money in your pocket if you're the owner pro number three so since you are the owner and you retain the title if the buyer for some reason they can't pay the bill they just default you as the owner you as the bank are able to go ahead and get that house back and not only you know keep your bank but whatever you made from there so let's say for example something like that happens you know that's what's going to lead us to potentially selling it on the future as well but that's one of the other pros that you're going to be looking at as the owner as the bank per se in this investment for you let's go to the next pro final pro as a owner in owner financing setting is that you're going to be able to close a lot faster since you don't have to worry about the buyer going through the whole you know uh, mortgage application and the loan process in a way so it's a lot faster you get your money a lot faster so if you're looking to sell your home quicker and also you're willing to take that little bit of risk that we're going to talk about right now in the cons then you're definitely going to be looking to do something like this and get your house sold a lot faster let's go to the cons guys all right con number one this is going to be a little bit tricky so i'm gonna go ahead and read it off of my notes just to make sure you guys get a better understanding of what i'm talking about so under the dodd frank wall street reform and consumer protection act we may not be able to do balloon payments really just depends on the situation and where we're at as owners we may also need to involve a mortgage loan originator just to make sure everything goes smoothly and that we're in compliance to that uh, protection act so that's con number one something that we got to look at as you know being the owners and going to finance it to that specific buyer we'll talk more about it if we are looking into doing it so, uh, doing it a little bit like that you know just so we can have the details correct but let's go to the next con here guys. Right. so con number two if the buyer stops paying their mortgage or their payments this is something that you're going to be looking at as a con once you think about it this way the city stopped paying in your head you're like awesome i made a little bit of money now i can put it back on the market yes and no because if they default you can't just brush it off and go to the next next buyer and go from there you actually got to go through the foreclosure process so you want to make sure that once you actually go through that process it's all clear and done let's go to the next one and that's definitely something that's going to be time consuming but at the same time you know it's something that needs to be done so that way you don't have to you know worry about any legalities or anything like that in the future but let's go to the next con guys all right. con number three repair costs let's say you do get that house you went through the whole you know foreclosure process and now you're getting ready to go to the next you know next buyer get back in the market Keep in mind, there may be some repair costs and that may cost a little bit more in the long run, depending on how well they took care of that house, you know, that we were, you know, it just basically came back on the market in our way, right? So basically there, you know, repair costs may be a little bit costly for you, depending on the condition that we get the house back from that specific buyer. So, you know, th there you go, you know, a couple cons that you gotta worry about. Not too much compared to the pros for yourself, you know as a owner doing the owner financing 
I hope you guys found this video informational. I hope I'm able to help you guys out in the future. If you are here in the San Antonio surrounding areas, definitely give me a call 210-589-5718. If not, we do have people that can definitely help you out no matter where you're at. Thanks so much guys for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.